devil and the most high sit you up, all right? And the most high take you down, all right? So plainly, this is our book, all right? We're the only ones that can interpret our book. Holy men only. Holy men. Nice. Yeah, seek to search the because yeah, because you need the Holy Spirit to be understand this, okay? There's a spirit behind this book, a vibration behind this book, okay? It's a particular mindset that you get when you read these scriptures, you know? It's a particular mindset you get when you read the scriptures, okay? There's a particular spirit, and that's the Holy Spirit. That's the Al Shai, okay? Why, notice that's not like that, though. Why do these groups don't uh, recognize the Holy Spirit? No, because they don't have it. They don't yeah, know what it is. They never confess it. Yeah, yeah. The, thing, the reason why we, we ain't just research stuff. Yeah, we research stuff, but it was by the Holy Spirit that we actually found these things. You know, the elders and the apostles had a revelation, you know, uh, through the Holy Spirit. None of these groups ever talk about the Holy Spirit because yeah. if they probably like would, the Lord probably kill them because they don't have, they don't have the Holy Spirit. We believe we have the Holy Spirit. I'm yeah. saying that you're confident. Yeah, 100%, 144%. Yeah. And that's how the prophets, the actual true prophets, are becoming. They're becoming, they're becoming straight bold with 100% uh, faith in what they believe. You know, the real, the real prophets of the Lord. Yeah. 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 So you have false prophets, you have the true prophets. Yeah. 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 They're all going to grow up together. Yeah. 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 The Lord going to separate them and have the proper job. Yeah. 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 Separate the sheep from the goats. Yeah. Yeah. First Corinthians chapter 2 and verse 16. For who have known the mind of the Lord that he may instruct him, but we have the mind of the anointed. God, so we have the mind of Yahweh Mashiach. Okay? Right. The Lord, our the Holy Spirit, is moving us to be doing all these things that you see before you. Okay, it's, it's not us coming out of our own will just speaking a bunch of emotional BS. Okay, everything that we speak is in concordance with the scriptures. Everything. You know? All right. So we have the mind of Yahweh Shai. Okay, we have that particular mindset. It's a particular action and way of being. Okay, and that way that we have, that being that we have, is life. Okay, so that's why. That's why. Uh, you know, there's, you see brothers waking up in Japan, okay, yeah. in uh, uh, Italy, there's camps out everywhere, you know what I'm saying? Because this is the true power right now. This right now, okay? All right. Well, uh, that's, that's great millstone. Great yeah, millstone. Right. GMS, great millstone. Great millstone. Uh, the Lord said he's going to be a small sanctuary when we scatter. Yeah, yeah. So, we got, we probably got the most uh, secret disciples, you know, a lot of brothers we don't even know. We actually follow a great millstone. Now, this, this is too, which is really surprising, but uh, they, they out there, you know? Yeah. The scriptures talk about uh, the secret disciples. So they're out there, you know? And then as things... What is the remission of sin? What can wash away sin? All men born of a woman days of you, but full of trouble. born in sin, what washes away the sin? Alright, we're gonna get a scripture for that. Because we speak out of the word, you know, we don't want to speak right. out of our mind. The Old Testament talks about the both one thing to be missed. Yeah. Both, both Testaments speak about that. What is the one thing to be missed here? We're gonna get we're gonna get scripture. Well, well, what is it? Are you, are you blood. asking us or are you, are you telling us? Blood! You can ask us Don't think you know it then. Blood. You want to speak up. Well, you're right. But not the blood of fools. Right, you're right. But it's more it's more complex. It's a better sacrifice. It's more complex than that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. uh, Lord is a sacrifice. Right? This uh we got it. Alright? So this is what in the scriptures it speaks. Alright? You know. Only what's written in the scripture here. But look, hear, hear the word. Read. Psalm chapter 119 and verse 9. This is not, we're not going to read and say cliche statements to you. We're right. actually going to break it down to you. Right. We're not going to just give you 5%. We're going to give you everything. Right. We're going to just make a cliche statement. Okay, and keep it, keep it simple. We're going to get deep into it. Right. right? Blood is just, that, that, that's just one one deep, and that's not enough information for a man to punch his way. This is Psalm chapter 119 and verse 9. Wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way? The precept lined up. 
by taking heed thereto according to thy word. God, so you're supposed to take heed to the word and follow the word to your best of your ability. Okay, you, and that starts obviously with you being baptized with the Holy Spirit. Okay, baptism, that word, okay, it means fully submerged. So you can be fully submerged in the Holy Spirit. You can be fully submerged in this word, this truth. Okay, so with that, you know, comes you trying to follow the laws, the statutes, the commandments to the best of your ability. You know, you're doing that and you have faith in that. You know? Faith in the word. The word washes us. However, the word doesn't wash away sin. The 12 tribes of Israel, they yes, had sacrifices for sin. Okay, I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying, but the thing what is... What washed that, away... Benjamin, Judah, but the Levi, scripture, they all did something but the scripture, when they daily. The scripture just said you have to take hold to the word. Right. That's, that's how you clean yourself. Okay, what does it mean then? God accepts holy blood for by the remission of sin. And when they did that, God accepts holy blood for by the remission of sin is bloodshed. So what is, they oh, took a okay. cat and they sacrificed it. That's not true. That's not true. Oh, you should never even No, he doesn't say God only accepts blood. That's not, that's not true. He only accepts blood that's for not, the remission of that's, sin. That's, okay, that's, what's not, that's, not, that's not only true. What scripture is that? What scripture is that? The only thing he accepts is blood. Yeah, what scripture is that? He does accept blood. He does accept blood, right. but that's not, that's not the only thing. If I may say, this, this, that's a lot. This, there's only one blood that he accepted, and that's yeah, Yahweh Shah's yeah. blood. Okay? So, all those, those sacrifices we have done before Yahweh yeah, Shah, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's not acceptable him to him no more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay? So, now, where we at now, where we at now, it's the only covenant that, 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 we have, that we have gotten out of all those sacrifices we did make. Okay? That's why we, we kept going off. Because we thought we could just keep um, sinning. Who did he accept? Yahweh Shah. Who's Yahweh Shah? That's the Savior. Wait, wait, wait. Who's the Savior? Is he God himself? He's the Savior. Is he God? No, he's the Son of Yahweh. What makes this blood to be acceptable? He's the Lamb. The thing is, we're not. His blood on the no, we're not. Get Isaiah 11 chapter. The thing is, we're not saying that blood doesn't wash away. It's deeper than that. Because you can't just say blood washes away and you just walk off. Yeah. It's deeper. You need to understand. Yeah. You need to understand what it means. Of Jesus the Christ. Right. He's the precept. He's yeah. not the most high. He's not the most high. Holy. He's not the most high. Get John 5 and 30 also. Okay. Okay. Now. Okay. Now that you know that. Are you a different man? Okay, are you a different man because of the blood? Are you a different man? You're in your sin and you will be lost okay. in a burning hell. Cut him with the word, go ahead. The burning hell. So Ephesians chapter 5 and verse 26. <laughs> it reads no. that he might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of water by the word. So there you go. Read that again. Ephesians chapter 5 and verse 26. Go ahead. That he might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of water by the word. That he might sanctify and cleanse it. Sanctify and cleanse him. With the washing of water yeah. by the word. By the word. The word. No, 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 no. You have to go with that scripture. The word? You, have to you, go just with said, Jesus. you just said said blood. God is it's the not, word. Okay, okay. Just blood. Uh, you got, you got so when once the blood is shed, once the blood is shed, then you build upon that. The That's word right. is the blood. He's the second person. Okay, okay, we gotta switch to that. First of all, we're not, we're not. And he's living right now. So the thing is, like we said, we're not, we're not saying that blood doesn't wash the word. It's deeper. It's deeper. Not five different interpretations. Sir, sir, sir. We're saying it's deeper. Sir, sir. We're saying it's deeper. Sir, sir. We're saying it's deeper. Bring the, bring the word. So, keep on. Read that verse again. And in verse 6, his first offering is sacrifices for sin. Thou hast has had no pleasure, then said I lo, I come in the volume of the book. Now who is that? Who so coming he, up? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah, sorry. so you're just saying how who is the word, right? It's Yao Shai. Right? Yao Shai is well I'm sir, I'm speaking, sir, I'm speaking. Let me speak. So 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 basically we're saying, right? The word is Yao Shai. Just as you were talking about, right? So Yao Shai is blood. Right, he washes us, right? But Yahweh Shah is also the word. That's like right. we said, it's deeper. You can't just have blood in your mind. No. It's deeper. You know what I'm saying? You can't just say, oh, it's just blood and they just walk off. Yeah, I'm I'm clean, I'm clean, I'm clean. No. You know? Yeah. No. So, 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 Shai, that's what we're this, saying. Who is this Yahweh Shah? Yahweh Shah. Get John 5 and 30. John 5 and 30. Christ? 
Look, sir. Look, 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 look,
they, they're an order. That's all it means, all right? It doesn't mean that they're the exact same entity, you know? And then sometimes they try to say, oh, well, we know it's not the same exact entity because Christians have a whole bunch of bullshit doctrines. But sometimes they say, oh, they're on the same status. They're, just saying they're separating into three individuals. Sorry. You know? Yeah, yeah, the Trinity doctrine. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. Uh, Revelation chapter 14 and verse 4. These are they which were not defiled with women, but they are virgins. These are they which follow the Lamb whithersoever.